Hey everybody, welcome to Herrera House. Today we're gonna to prepare a simple but elegant dish for you inspired by all local ingredients. I'm gonna take you over to the North Market kitchen, but first we're heading out to the woods to do a little foraging. Despite the snow falling in May, we're gonna make it happen. All right, we found what we are looking for. These babies here are wild leeks. They're one of the very first things that come up in our area this time of year. And we're gonna take a little bit of them to go with. There we are. So all parts of the uh, wild leek are edible from the greens through the stem and the bulb right down to the roots. Sometimes there's mass amounts of them. You can pickle them, they're really tasty. So you do have to be careful. Uh, the wild leeks or ramps as some people call them are actually endangered in a lot of areas and therefore illegal to pick. So when you are picking, just be responsible. If you're gonna take the bulbs, five to 15% of a patch at most. As you can see behind me, we've got lots to work with. All right, well, I think we got what we came for. A small haul this year, but enough to do the coveted wild leek pesto. Welcome to the North Market Kitchen. So we're gonna jump right into this one. Um, we've got our leeks all cleaned up and we're going to just take off those beautiful white bulbs, put them to the side because we'll do a pickling event with them later on. Nice quick chop of our leek greens. Couple more. This is a very simple little pesto recipe that we're going to be doing. I'm gonna start with a little bit of sunflower seed into our food processor. Touch of salt, sprinkle of cayenne, and this beautiful hard cheese from Capus Casing, Ontario. Quick little chop of that in. We're gonna pulse that till it's a fine grain. Perfect. Just gonna put that into our bowl. Add our freshly picked wild ramps with lots and lots of olive oil. And that's gonna do it. We'll add that right into our cheese and sunflower mixture. And look at the glory of this color. And there we have our wild leek pesto. Now to use this, we're gonna take some of our homemade dried pasta. Give that about eight minutes. All right, so at the stove, we're gonna just heat a pan with a little bit of olive oil. We're keeping this dish really simple. Some Sun Tech hothouse tomatoes are in the pan. Don't want to cook them through, just get them going a little bit. Once we start seeing a bit of blistering on the skin, we'll move on to the next step. All of our flavor is going to be coming from that wild leek pesto that we made, but we like to contrast that with a bit of freshness, really punch up everything. So, at that, I'm going to quickly drop my pasta into the pan, add a hefty amount of our wild leek pesto, Give her a nice toss. The color is sensational. So to bring this sauce together, we're just going to add a splash of white wine and a tiny bit of the pasta water. Last step, we're gonna use these gorgeous turnip greens just to give that little more freshness. Don't want to fully cook them, just get them incorporated into the dish. And it's time to plate. And there we are. A bright and flavorful dish made with all local ingredients. If you liked this video, please subscribe, hit that like button, sharing is caring, and we hope to see you back here the next time around. Till then, keep well.